Good morning, you guys. I'm just starting my car right now because I'm heading to a spin class. I am starting the vlog off exciting, I guess. Um, it's currently 9 a.m. I wanted to do like a little week in my life vlog because I feel like I haven't done one of those in a while and there is a lot of updates that's going to be happening in this vlog um but <laughs> before we get into the updates let's just get on with our day um as I said I'm heading to a spin class right now it's at 9 30 and the studio is like super close to my place so we're gonna head there now and get a good sweat in and yeah carry on with the rest of the day guys I just got back from spinning and just quickly stopped at Starbucks and I got the oat brown ice shake and espresso this is my espresso oh my goodness I can't speak um this is like my go-to order I'm obsessed with it but that workout was so good so I guess first update is that um I've been really into spinning lately I feel like I haven't really shown me going to spin classes on YouTube um, just because it's something that I recently picked up before I left for my trip to Mexico because the last time I filmed it was a few days before I left for Mexico it was on Friday the 17th and I left for Mexico on the 22nd so I literally started spin classes like that week um, I only did I think three classes and then now I've just been like making it a habit where I go like twice a week and it has been a huge game changer. Also if you hear Freddie, he's chewing a stick right now, but it's been a huge game changer in my routine. I feel like my mood has been so much better um, getting some more cardio in. Um, so I highly recommend if you guys um, have been wanting to like switch up your routine or add something to your routine, I feel like spinning has just been a huge game changer and I feel like I don't know my mood has just been so much better lately and i'm just obsessed with it so i've been doing that twice a week and then i've been doing my um, sammy clark form platform three times a week um so yeah three to four times a week so five to six days a week i'm working out and i love it and another big update that i haven't mentioned here on youtube but if you guys follow me on instagram and tiktok you guys already know i recently got engaged which i can't believe that I'm engaged it's so crazy my um fiance I'm not even used to saying that yet but my fiance proposed to me um in Mexico we celebrated our 10 year anniversary I know that's a long time some people have been like why did you wait 10 years all this but obviously there's like personal reasons why like we decided to wait the house was more important to me than having a ring so um you know when we decided to purchase this house two years ago um he did actually ask me if i wanted to plan a wedding first or buy a house and i decided that i think buying a house was a better choice than planning a wedding so financially that was our decision um and i'm so happy we decided to you know make our 10 year anniversary a, like a celebration of our engagement so um I'll insert a clip here of how we proposed, but basically we were in Mexico and we had the first night there and he decided to do it the first night because he was like, I'm not waiting till the end of the trip to um, propose to you. Like he was already stressed about like the ring and everything of me like finding out or someone spilling the news um because obviously that's a hard surprise to keep in and so we did it the first night and we did it at sunset at the beach i went to mexico with a bunch of my friends so my friends knew obviously this was happening um but my thought was on the first night my best friend's also getting married and she thought oh let's do a beach dinner to kick off the vacation so i'm thinking okay we're getting ready for a beach dinner at sunset like we're taking photos so i get all dressed up i put my nice outfit on and yeah we get there and there's no beach dinner i'm like kind of confused and i see my best friend with like roses in her hand and i'm like hey okay, there's something going on and then my boyfriend takes my hand brings me to like this really nice area on the beach and immediately just starts crying and got down on one knee and asked 
me to marry him. So <laughs> that's kind of like a quick story of the proposal. But if you guys want to hear the full story, I did a podcast episode on it recently, um, just spilling the tea behind the scenes of their whole proposal. So it was so amazing. I'm so excited to start planning a wedding. I'm so excited to include wedding content here on YouTube, TikTok, everything. Like right now we're in the um, stages of planning our engagement party. So we are looking at venues right now. Um, we're trying to book something for August. Um, or September so it's actually approaching really quickly which is so crazy so um, yeah we're starting on that first and then we're gonna get into wedding planning because we're not planning to get married until like 2024 2025 so we have time to plan that but the engagement party is definitely the first big party we're planning so anyways right now i'm going to just clean my couch i really want to strip down um the cushions i did half of it yesterday i'm going to do the other half today um so yeah i'm just like my couch is slip cover so i just want to throw the cushions in the wash i'm having my sister's little birthday gathering here tonight she's turning 23 and she asked if she can if i could host um her and her friends just for a little pre before we head out for dinner um at this nice restaurant called angelina's so we're yeah just gonna clean up the house today and then i'm gonna get ready help set up downstairs for her party and yeah that's the plan for today but right now as i said i'm going to strip the cushions and wash it because it desperately needs to be done so <laughs> Okay, so the couch is halfway done. I still have a few more to do, but they are currently just drying on our stairs because they're still a little wet. So hopefully within the next hour, they'll be dry and then I can put it on. But the couch looks so white after um, a good wash. I'm so happy I did it. Um, typically what I do is I put it on cold temperature wise and I put on the white um, for cycle wise for putting it in the mach uh, wash machine and then I add oxyclean that way it gets like super white and I just spray stain remover on any like noticeable stains that I want to get out but like look how white it looks it looks brand new so highly recommend getting a slip cover couch if you do decide to get light furniture it's just a game changer especially when you have dogs or kids or anything like that like Freddie actually puked on the couch and that's why I ended up cleaning all the cushions um, so yeah, it's just worth getting a slip cover, especially if you have any pets. Look how cute Freddie looks right now. Freddie, he needs a haircut so badly, but for some reason he's sitting in our glass console. I don't know why, but he looks cute. Hi you guys, I just finished getting ready for my sister's birthday. This light is so aggressive, I got that Amazon light that I saw on TikTok that everyone was talking about before getting ready and just like for taking photos tiktoks all that so i got it and it's totally worth the hype i think it's like 15 bucks it's not that much but this is like pretty aggressive like i can lower down the light so it's like not aggressive but it's just because it got recently dark just because the sun's setting but anyways i just threw on this dress because i wasn't gonna wear a dress but madison says that everyone's wearing dresses madison's wearing a dress obviously because it's her birthday so i decided to wear this dress that i wore to an engagement party a few weeks ago so i thought i might thought i might as well re-wear it but it's from meshki i love it it was part of their valentine's day collection so i'm just gonna wear this and i'm gonna wear these heels with it that i got from steve madden before my mexico trip so i'm gonna wear that probably throw like a leather jacket on just to make it um a bit more winter because it's giving summer but it's not summer here right now it's still freezing so anyways but did my makeup washed my hair that's what i've been doing for like the past two hours um since i washed my couch and cleaned the house but anyways right now we're just about to host all the girls and then head to a nice dinner so that's what's up happy birthday <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is Monday. I am so exhausted today. And I think it's because of the time change that happened yesterday, which I always hate. Um, I had 
a fun weekend this weekend and anyways i just felt like yesterday i had such a hard time adjusting to the time and then waking up this morning i was like struggling and i know it's just like an hour but for some reason i always yeah this always happens whenever i'm traveling with the time difference or if the time other falls back or goes forward it just totally messes me up and even zach was like this is crazy how just one hour just like feels like it screws up your whole routine it's not screwing my whole routine i'm just like i like woke up late um i think it was more so not from the time difference but just from the weekend i had just because there were so many birthdays going on it was my grandma's 81st on the friday which we celebrated with my family and then it was my sister's birthday which i showed you guys on saturday and then sunday i didn't end up filming anything because it was zach's grandma's birthday so we were headed to her house with like a little brunch so this weekend was crazy ended up going to bed late just doing some work and yeah woke up late but it's fine it's monday i woke up i did a workout this morning what else did i do i got some stuff done for the podcast i'm going to be recording a podcast later today um so just like a busy work day but right now i need to do grocery shopping i didn't have the chance to go yesterday just because of the whole um family stuff that was going on yesterday for zach's grandma's birthday so i'm going to the grocery store right now so i'm just currently trying to get ready because i look crazy i haven't done my skincare or anything so i'm just going to quickly do a bit of skincare and then go grocery shopping also guys i've included two new things into like my skincare routine first one being this ordinary brow and lash um serum sorry i'm trying to like focus my camera on it yeah so i've included this i literally have no lashes and i've been trying to find a serum to grow them a bit so i will keep you guys posted on what i think of this and if i see any results i've only used it for like four days so cannot give an honest review yet but i'm hoping it will make a difference um but it was only like 15 dollars, and i hear really good things about this serum specifically so i will keep you guys posted on that and then i repurchased the summer fridays skin tint i ended up getting a shade darker i got shade five i used to be a shade four before my tan before my trip so now that i'm darker i just have been using this and i just find it's the perfect amount of coverage for like every day and it's so light that like you're not wearing foundation it literally just feels like you're wearing skincare so i mix this with the summer fridays um spf and i just find it's the perfect duo okay quickly just wanted to show you guys this new sweatsuit that i got from sporty and rich they sent it to me and i'm absolutely obsessed with this blue color i've been really loving blue lately i also got this blue zip up before my trip and i've been wearing that religiously as well so Blue has been my favorite color to wear lately, but I will link this up for you guys. I just thought it was so cute. So this is what I'm wearing to the grocery store. I literally never care what I wear to the grocery store because it's literally just the grocery store. So anyways, I just threw this on because it was easy and I'm probably just going to wear this for the rest of the day since obviously I'm working from home today. So yeah, let's go do some grocery shopping. Okay, I just got home from the grocery store and immediately started making lunch. I haven't even put the groceries away because I'm so hungry, but my egg totally got messed up, but that's fine. I'm just making avocado on toast with eggs. I'm just moving my camera here to have you guys see me. But anyways, haven't put any of my groceries away as you can see because it's already almost two o'clock. This whole time thing is just messing me up i shouldn't have woke up late but it's fine we're getting through the day but anyways i'm gonna put all the groceries away once i'm done eating lunch because i'm starving and then once i'm done putting the groceries away i'm gonna start recording my podcast i'm excited about recording this episode today i'm gonna be doing an episode about beginner's guide to working out so i will link it down below um it should be available once this video is posted so you guys can listen to that but just kind of explaining like tips on how to get started into like a routine of working out and just a beginner's guide to figuring out like what workout styles work for you and all that so i'm gonna record that as well but 
yeah, that's what's up. I'm excited to eat. I wanted to show you guys my final product of my lunch, but my camera ended up dying. So anyways, already finished, cleaned up, put the groceries away and all that. But I did get some tulips since we are slowly going into spring, which I'm so excited about. But it's my sister's birthday tomorrow, like her actual birthday. So I thought I would pick her up some tulips um, because we're having like a little spa day tomorrow and all that. So I thought that would be like a nice little gift to give to her. And then I got some yellow tulips that haven't bloomed yet, but I'm going to put some of them in some water and they'll probably bloom later this week. But this is your sign to go buy some flowers because I feel like getting flowers, especially during the springtime, just like is like the best like little self-care thing to do if that makes sense like just going to the grocery store picking yourself up some flowers i just find it feels so good and it just like brings like happiness in my home i find because it just makes me feel like spring's coming closer summer's coming closer winter's coming to an end so i just find it's always nice to get fresh flowers hi guys it is a bit later i ended up recording my podcast and then zach got home so now we just made dinner and we tried this new recipe out this past week and it's called the marry me chicken and it is so good you guys um i'll link the recipe down below i think i found it on pinterest and it's not that complicated it's pretty simple but it just slaps it's yeah it looks so good Good morning, you guys. I woke up like maybe an hour ago. I haven't even made my bed yet. I'm about to make it right now, but um, I took the day off work today to have a little birthday day with my sister. We're going to the Nordique Spa, which I'm super excited about, but I woke up early and I got some work done. I just finished editing my podcast and I'm just about to post it now. Um, and now I'm about to head to a spin class. I don't know why, I thought it was a good idea to do a spin class on the day when I post my podcast. I obviously was not thinking when I booked the class, but it's too late to cancel it now. So I have to stay committed and go to the class. So I'm just getting ready now to do that. Hey guys, it is a bit later. I just changed and I'm just about to head to my parents' place now to pick up my sister and go to the spa. I'm literally so excited, um, but it's literally snowing outside so much right now. So I literally just threw on my winter coat, threw on sweats. I didn't want to wear like leggings to the spa. I just want to like wear comfy clothes as soon as I'm done. Cause like there's a bunch of like thermal baths, saunas, all that. So I just like don't want to put anything tight after that. But I'm gonna try and film what I can in the spa. That way I can give you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning, but they are very strict with obviously like phones and cameras and all that. But I think I'm gonna bring my phone in and I'll just film it horizontally. That way I can give you guys some footage of what it looks like inside, but I'm excited. Good morning, you guys. It is the following day. I woke up, did a workout, had some breakfast, and now it's, oh wait, what time is it? Okay, it's actually 10.30, but since the clocks went ahead, my clock has not been adjusted, but I think Zach fixed it because it's the same time on my iPhone. So anyways, but for the past, like few days the clock has been um behind by an hour so anyways it's fixed now which is good but i'm just about to make a coffee and get my day started i have no idea how long this vlog is i've literally just vlogged a few random days in my life but um yeah i'm gonna film a bit more today and then i'm gonna edit this video and then i'm hopefully gonna post it tomorrow because 
I have been lagging on my YouTube game, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that I got this package in yesterday from my management company and I'm so happy. I don't know about you guys, but I find flowers just makes me so happy, especially during the springtime. But I showed you guys these tulips that I got um, when I went grocery shopping earlier this week. So they're finally starting to bloom. I don't know if my camera is focused, but there we go. They're finally starting to bloom. So they look so pretty. I still need to like actually set them up um in this phase and then my management company got me this beautiful like white floral um arrangement for zach and i's engagement just as like a little congratulations gift and like they're so beautiful like i'm obsessed so i need to find a spot for both of these um flower arrangements i need to find another vase for one of them so we're gonna do that right now um just because i've been pushing this back and just leaving it in water when i should really be putting it in a vase so we're gonna do that right now and then make a coffee Okay, so the first floral arrangement I just put here on my sideboard, which I think looks super nice. And then I put the other one, also please excuse the balloons over here, it's from my sister's birthday. Um, I put the tulips here just to like brighten up this space, which I think it looks good. I mean, like they're not fully bloomed yet. Like the, there's still a few that needs to be fully bloomed, but still looks very pretty and freddy's literally <laughs> passed out this is his little spot this is where he sleeps he's just the cutest thing ever ready he's out also guys i have something funny to tell you so yesterday i get a package from amazon at my front door and zach brings it inside and he's like it literally feels like there's nothing in here and i'm like well that's weird like i ordered a hairbrush like you should be able to feel a hairbrush he's like no like there's literally nothing in here so i opened the package and it's a pair of earrings did not order a pair of earrings and i thought it might have been my sister because my sister typically orders like her amazon orders through my account but she gets it delivered to like my parents place so this is what comes to my front door it's literally stud earrings so i facetime her and i'm like hey i think you accidentally like shipped something to my house um, instead of your place and she's like I never ordered those like that. That's not something I picked So then when I went back to like my Amazon account to see like if the hairbrush has been delivered or not It said delivered. So they literally sent me the wrong item completely I don't know if that's ever happened to someone that has never happened to me where they completely like send the wrong item Anyways, so now I have to I guess place a return I know Amazon now does returns at the front door, which is super convenient. So I guess I'll have to do that and just tell them to send me the right item that I ordered. I don't know. That's never happened to me before. I thought that was really funny and very weird at the same time. But anyways. Hey guys, it's a bit later in the day. I quickly did like a lazy girl makeup <laughs> kind of look. And then I literally just threw on the sweater and sweatpants. But um, I'm... What am I going to do? I wanted to make a post workout smoothie. It's a bit later since I did my workout, but I never put protein powder in my breakfast this morning. So I thought I would make like a little green smoothie. So 
thought we could do that. I literally just got back from running errands as well. I decided to go to the grocery store quickly just because we were low on like paper towel and just like other random stuff that are essential. So I went to go do that. So anyways, it's like one o'clock right now. I need to make something to eat because I haven't had lunch yet. So thought we could do a smoothie. And then I also picked up like a little pre-made salad just at the grocery store just to have for lunch. So good. I will link the recipe down below if you guys missed it, but it's like super simple, like not that many ingredients and yeah, but I think I'm going to end the video off here just because it's getting really long this vlog and it's just a lot of like random days in my life. But let me know if you guys like these kind of videos, but thank you guys so much for watching another video. If you're new here, definitely make sure to subscribe. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in the next video.